Hello, Bear Tavern families. This is Mr. Turnbull, and I want to say happy summer. As you know, this is the last week of school, and in fact, today is the last full day of school. We'll have early dismissal days on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of this week. So I thought it was very important to get the, this information out now before things get too crazy. The summertime, as you know, is for having fun. It's for playing outside, going on adventures, and of course, reading. If you look below this video, there are a number of great resources for you, and I want to talk to you about them and set you up for success and fun this summer. We don't have a formalized book list at Bear Tavern that students have to read. We believe that reading should be fun and students should choose books that they love and that are appropriate for them. But there is a site, if you a link below, it's to a site called imaginationsoup.net and they provide some really great book suggestion lists that are grade specific but then break down to if your student likes certain topics within a grade level it gives specific book suggestions for those topics ideas and themes so it's a lot of fun check it out and there's some really great suggestions we also have information about the 2018 readers breakfast and a lot of research shows that if students read six books over the summer it can have a huge impact on what they call the summer slide or the reading regression that can happen in the summer. There's also an article below about that. But the reason we say that is because we have a reader's breakfast in September to celebrate students who did read over the summer. And it's very open-ended. The intent is not to count a certain number of pages or time limits, to encourage reading and then also have a great time with a special breakfast in September. So if you check below, there is information in a sheet about that and it was sent home in a hard copy as well. There are lots of different ways you can participate. You can just list six books and provide that into the link that goes directly to Mrs. Mulbauer. Or you can participate in a summer reading program at your local library or a place like Barnes & Noble or Scholastic. So there's no one way to do it. There's a lot of ways to get an invitation for that reader's breakfast, but just make sure you stay on top of it and submit that information in September to Mrs. Mulbauer. I also want to talk to you about an exciting adventure that we are going to have, and it's the Principal's Online Summer Book Club. We're going to be reading the book, The Wild Robot, and it's by Peter Brown, who was a Hopewell native. But what's cool about it is we're going to use the application Flipgrid. And that can be an online site or a smart uh, mobile device application. And essentially, Flipgrid allows you to record a short response. It's very user-friendly, and the response can be anywhere from 0 to 90 seconds. So what we're going to do is chunk this book up into five sections. And for each section, I'm going to throw out some open-ended questions, and students can feel free to chime in and record their answer. And that way, they can share it with other students, and I'll see them all so it'll be a very exciting way to stay connected and to participate while reading a great book. And you're certainly welcome to read, do a read aloud as a family. Um, there is no comprehension test at the end. We just want to have fun and we want to read. If you have any questions, you can absolutely email me at any time. And remember, the Flipgrid site is password protected so that all responses are safe and secure. Please see the tutorial below for the specifics. There's a link directly to the Flipgrid, but there's also the tutorial that will give you the background information you need. The first question doesn't get posted until July 2nd, but there is an introduction that students can record just to warm up and uh, use the site a little bit and meet each other. So that'll be exciting. We can't wait. And finally, I want to let you remind you to save the date. Whoops. We are going to have the Bear Tavern Book BQ. And what that means is that we are going to hide this title here, but good. We are going to have a special event on Monday, July 23rd, where I'm going to grill up some hot dogs. We're going to talk about some of the books we've read. We're going to talk about reading and get into some small discussions. And of course, we're just going to have some fun at Bear Tavern. So it's a great way in the middle of the summer to come together and celebrate any kind of reading that students have done, everyone is welcome. We will put out an RSVP a little bit later in the summer just so that we can prepare adequately. But the intent is to get together, to have a great time, and to celebrate reading. 
And finally, do not forget, all summer long, you on Twitter using the hashtag Bear Tavern Reads, you'll be able to post, and you're very much encouraged, to post pictures of yourself in some of your reading adventures. You can also make sure that you give book reviews. You can look for different information. If there's a character or a book you really like, you can tweet that out there using that hashtag. If you are interested in reading a special book, you can put that out there with the hashtag. And most of all, if you have pictures of yourself reading in some great places, you can post that to the hashtag Bear Tavern Reads on Twitter. We're also going to put up some updates throughout the summer of just great different ideas and articles and things like that. So check it out. Don't forget to use it and don't forget to read it. So as I said, if you have any questions at all, you can email me anytime. I'll be here throughout the summer. But we want to first off, thank you for a wonderful school year. Let you know we're excited for a summer that we get to enjoy and relax, hopefully get some good reading done and spend some great time with families. But on behalf of everyone at Bear Tavern, thank you for a wonderful year and enjoy your summer. Thank you.